Researchers at the University of Texas need your help. They're trying to identify several millions of galaxies, and they're using a sort of a galactic dating app to do it. KXAN's Eric Henriksen shows you why you should swipe right to discover the cosmos. Tinder, Bumble, and Hinge. For many looking for love, these dating apps are very familiar. Swipe right for love and swipe left to reject. Now, a new app is joining the marketplace. I've been calling it Astro Tinder for a long time. With the app Zooniverse, citizen scientists can participate in the Dark Energy Explorers project, where they can love or reject potential galaxies. This is an instrument defect that happened here. So this I would swipe left on that one. Carl Gebhardt is a professor of astrophysics at the University of Texas. We're trying to make this giant map of the universe to understand how the universe is expanding. To make this map, scientists need to identify galaxies. Where a computer code has a really hard time in detecting, the human eye picks it up instantly. All those galaxies are kind of those puzzle pieces that we're putting together to create this map. PhD student Lindsay House leads the Dark Energy Explorers project. We take all of the data that we are getting from the Javier Eberle telescope and we put that into this project. The map, once complete, will help scientists track the expansion of the universe. The differential in the expansion rate tells us why it's expanding the way it is. When users fire up the app on their phone or computer, they'll see this, a bunch of noise with the occasional dark spot. What we're looking for is a bump. Different images show the same sector of space. If there is a large enough dark spot. So then I would just go up here and hit keep this galaxy, right? I would, yes, yep, that's a keeper. However, if users see something weird, like this line. What that is is a a cosmic ray. It's a high energy um, a particle that hit our detector as we were observing and it just messed up the signal. They can swipe left. Sometimes we get false detections and so we want to get those out of our sample um, so that we only have those real galaxies left. Each picture is shown to multiple users so if you mess up don't worry. Other people will get a chance to swipe on the galaxy as well. So far, we have about 250,000 uh, galaxies that we've classified. The team is hoping to identify 2 million galaxies by 2024, meaning there's a lot of work ahead and a whole lot of swiping. In Austin, Eric Henriksen, KXAN News. That is just fascinating. It is free to join the project. If you want to participate, you can find a link to register in this story on KXAN.com. Don't worry if you know nothing about galaxies, there is a tutorial page before you participate.